Hey guys, okay, so today I'm gonna be doing my review for Mockingjay part one. Uh, I went and saw this movie yesterday with some friends um, from church, and I really, really enjoyed this movie. Okay, so let's get started. So here are some highlights. Um, I loved Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss. She is so perfect as Katniss, just her range of emotion just seems so effortless. She can go from, in the very beginning, mentally disturbed and traumatized to someone who is caring and loving and is having, is smiling in the woods with, with Gail. She is passionate. She stands up for what is right. I just, I can't imagine anyone else as Katniss. Jennifer Lawrence just, again, not it out of the park. She's one of my favorite actresses and I cannot wait to see her in so many more movies. She is so talented. Um, number two, um, so I really, really, really loved how Liam Hemsworth got some screen time in Mockingjay. Um, it was just so nice to see him on screen for a long time and with Katniss. It was so great to see them bonding and just him just being there for her and trying to understand what has happened. And he doesn't judge her. He doesn't you know, give her like, oh, well, you just need some help. Like, he's just there for her. Like, he's her best friend. And um, I really, really enjoyed their moments. Um, I love Liam. He was so good as um, Gail. And he portrays the just the fiery passion that, that, that Gail has. He has the perfect blend of compassion and also just the fiery hatred he has of the capital. Um, I, Francis Lawrence, he did redeem himself. Um, I was a little worried that, there, that he was going to turn Gale into a villain because just seeing TV spots, I wasn't very happy with how his character was being portrayed. But Francis did redeem himself. Um, they were, he, he did include the line where Katniss asked Gale, why, wh why is PETA saying all those horrible things? And then Gale says, he's probably being forced to. And then, P and then Katniss realizes, he's still trying to protect me. He's still playing the game. To me, that was um, exciting just because... Um, just because, like, it shows that Gale is not a villain. Like, Gale cares about Peta. He, care he cares about Katniss. He just wants best. He just wants what is best for for Katniss. And, um, it just was so great. I do love their kiss. I was like, yay. Um, it was kind of heartbreaking just because, you know, Gale's like, that's the only way I can get your attention. It's like he's pining for this girl that he knows is always just concentrated on PETA because PETA and Katniss went through something that Gale, Gale is never going to understand. But it was really great that he was there for Katniss. I loved their hunting scene. Um, I loved, um, you know, just Gale just being there for her and standing up for her and just not judging her. I love their friendship and I cannot wait till the next movie. Okay, so next up, um, I really loved Boggs. Um, Mahershala Ali. I think he's in House of Cards. Never seen House of Cards, but he was really good as Box. Um, I cannot wait to see his friendship develop further with um, Katniss in part two. Um, this direction, Francis Lawrence, just was awesome. It was, it felt like a different movie because it is a different movie. I mean, it's full on war. There's no more games. There's no more victors. Like, it's just a war against the Capitol. And I really enjoyed this movie. I loved the feel of District 13. Um, I loved Effie and Hamage, their little, um, you know, little snarky comments they had to each other, which was funny. Um, it just, it was just good. And I really, really enjoyed it. Probably another highlight was whenever, I didn't know we were going to get this until, I thought this wasn't going to happen until part two, but whenever Finnick is doing his propo and is telling all about President Snow and how he rose to power, that was one of my favorite parts of the book, because you see how heartbroken Finnick is, and he's, he's like, lost love of his life, she's being, you know, she's captured in the capital, and he's been used as a prostitute, you know, since he was like 14. So it just was so beautiful and awesome just to see how he was just exposing President Snow's lies and what actually happened. And it just was so wonderful. And I'm just like, yes, that scene was done so beautifully by Sam and Francis Lawrence. Um, I loved, loved, loved. The most intense thing for me was the PETA, PETA being rescued and PETA and Johanna being rescued, PETA, Johanna, Annie. Um, it was just so awesome because it felt like a war movie. This is not a kid's movie. Like, this is a war movie. And I loved how they used, you know, like, the blackout and they used, like, the green lights to, you know, symbolize them rescuing Peta and Annie and Johanna. And it was just, it was just so, it was just so intense. Like, I, like, I knew what was going to happen, but I was on the edge of my seat. Like, I was like, what's going to happen? Ah! Um, so the ending scene, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's not what you think it is. Um, we got lucky there. Thank you, Francis. Um, yeah, so definitely seeing PETA. Josh Hutcherson did an amazing job portraying PETA, especially at the very end. It's a very heartbreaking scene. Um, 
with his struggles and I am very excited to see part two. And so thank you guys so much for watching and may the odds be ever in your favor. Bye.